Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying out some products from a brand that I think is very underrated. This brand has gotten a lot of attention on the internet in the past, but I feel like it's not talked about anymore and it's a brand that I use their powder almost every single day and I do not want to be without it. So I ordered a few other things to try out because I haven't really used anything else from this brand. So what am I talking about? So I'm talking about the one and only Laura Geller. If you don't know the Laura Geller baked, eh, baked, hold on, baked balance and brighten um, foundation, powder foundation is my all time favorite powder for setting the face, using as a powder foundation, anything. I have dry skin and this looks good. So they did such an amazing job with this product. I want to see what else they have to offer. So I bought a backup of this because there was a sale going on. So I have another one of those, but I don't ever want to be without this powder. I just keep going back to it. So I'm going to be using this obviously today, but let's try out some of their other products to see if they're just as good. So I got a palette, a face palette. This one looked intriguing because um, this is the Laura Geller, the best of the best baked full face basics. Let's open this up and see. So, oh, the mirror's broken. Well, that's a pity, but okay, let's continue. So this has a blush, a bronzer, a highlight, it has two highlights, and then it also has some eyeshadow. So this is all in one. Um, I kind of wish the packaging was a little bit less bulky because having an entire face in one is nice and it would be nice for travel if this wasn't quite so stinking big. I can't seem to get this plastic thing off. Hold on. All right, so I got to the product. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I should do about this mirror situation, but oh, there are the products. I don't want the glass to end up getting in the powders. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but I do want to test out these products right here. I also bought, I think um, one of these may have come as a free gift, but I have a couple of brushes. One of them is the foundation brush, which I'm assuming is really good with their powder foundation. And then the other one is, I think a portable foundation powder. Yeah, it's a portable kabuki. Oh, it's soft. So it's just a travel brush. I'll get those two brushes. And then I got a cream blush. I have never tried a cream product from this brand, um, but this is the Italian Marble Blush Stick from Laura Geller. So let's see, it's a marbled product. Here's what it looks like. So we will definitely, I'll probably use both of the blushes, the powder and this cream. The last product that I have is a lipstick and this is another Italian marble product and it's um, in the shade Berry Vanilla. So here is the packaging on this and there's what the lipstick looks like. Let's just go ahead and start putting, ooh, it's magnetic. I love when lipsticks have magnetic closures. Okay, all this nice like black and gold packaging, beautiful go ahead and I'm going to prime my face I think the NYX marshmallow primer um, I'm gonna put this on underneath and I am gonna actually use this as a powder foundation today I normally use it to set my liquid foundations but we are going to use it with its intended as its intended method I don't know something so I'm gonna put just a little bit of concealer on and then go on with powder foundation. I actually forgot to put this in my order for my Sephora order and I did not pick it up in the sale. So that one is almost gone. So I blended out that concealer. Now I actually, I'm curious and I want to try the blush on before I put the powder foundation on just because I do want to see how it blends out um, on cream or bare face. So, I'm gonna start whoo, like that. That is very pink. It's not a super glidey blush. Like it had quite a bit of pull putting it onto the skin. Um, it's got quite a bit of pigment, but it is blending. It's really, really pink. 
This is like um, bubblegum Barbie pink. Not sure how I feel about that shade. Um, it is very pigmented, so putting the powder foundation on top of this is going to be a good thing. But let me show you the swatch right there. I mean, it's pretty, but you can kind of get different sections of it too and have different colors, but it's pretty. I just don't know if it's my favorite color. Oh, I blended it. I mean, it looks fine. It's fine. It's all good. Okay. So let's go ahead and put on the powder foundation. I, this is something I know and love, and then we'll get to the face products and the eye. Um, I'm going to take this on my It Cosmetics. I don't know what this is called. This was in a Christmas set years ago, um, but it's just a dense powder brush. And I'm just going to kind of stipple this on all over the face. I love this powder. So there's the powder foundation, absolutely beautiful. Um, let's go into the eyeshadows now. So there are three, three shades up here and I'm just gonna do a very quick, simple, easy everyday eye. I'm gonna start with the middle shade in Sunstone. Just gonna quickly run that through the crease. And then I'm gonna take the deeper shade and just run it on the outer corner. It is a slight metallic, but um, it's not too shimmery, so you can use it easily on this outer corner. Kind of just dragging that onto the lid too. I'm just doing a very like messy smoky look. I don't want this to be too um, precise kind of smudgy, easy, quick out the door. And then I'm going to take the Oyster shade on my finger and just tap that. Oh, oh, that's pretty. On the lid. See, imagine if I'm using this kind of a product, it's gonna be when I want to do my makeup quick, don't have to think about it, and it's all in one, and it's a simple, simple everyday eye and face, so the eyeshadows worked beautifully for that. I will pull my hair down later. I look like a mess. Okay, so there was a little bit of kickback on those, but they blended beautifully. Love, 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 love. Okay, let's move on to these fun products. I'm gonna swatch these real quick before I put them on my face. So let's start with the bronzer and the blush. Let's see, so here's the bronzer and the blush. They are very pigmented very pigmented. The blush is a little bit more peachy than the cream blush that I have, so maybe it'll balance it out. I'm gonna take the Complex Culture brush. I like to use this for bronzers and blushes, so I'm gonna take on this small end, dip it into the bronzer a little bit. I think it's pretty pigmented, so I'm gonna kinda tap it off on my hand first, and then lightly go on the face. So far, everything blends beautifully. Um, this bronzer shade is a little bit orangey for my skin tone and taste, but it's blending very, very easily. Let's try this blush. I'm gonna take a little bit just on the tip of this. Look how pigmented, that's insane. Let's tap some of that off. That is one thing, these products, oh my gosh, have a lot of pigment. And they were not messing around. Diffuse it with the powder brush just a little bit. There's two bronzers, one of them looks more blinding than the other, so let's see. Yeah, this one looks like um, a matte highlight. I said bronzers, I meant highlight. It looks like a matte highlight. Yeah, that's just a light powder, which won't really be light on me. And then here is the actual highlight. So yeah, the baked highlighter in French Vanilla is more of just a, a powder. And I don't think that's gonna be light enough to actually brighten anything on me. Yeah, 
yeah, no, that's too dark for my skin tone to use that, but let's use the actual highlighter one. Okay, so I'm gonna take, this is a Moda Pro brush. This is the BMX 265 Glow, and I'm just going to tap right into that, and we're going to just lightly highlight my brow bone and cheekbone. Okay, let me take the hair down. Okay, so the last product I have is the lipstick. Let me put on my mascara real quick, and then we'll put the lipstick on together. All right, so I use the Ulta Beauty's Lash Flash Mascara. This is my favorite mascara, if you didn't already know that. Let's put on the marble lipstick. This is the shade Berry Vanilla. Everything is very, very like Barbie pink toned. And I don't know if that's just the shades that I picked. But that is pink. I like the smoothness of this lipstick. It is, again, kind of like the blush. There's a little bit of a pull to it, like it's a, a stiffer formula. But when it's on the lips, it's very um, silky filling. I don't know if this cool tone lip goes with the warm tone eye so much, but the formula itself was very nice. Let me see if I have something that can tone it down. Take a tiny bit of the NYX Filler Instinct. This is more of a warm tone, and I'm just gonna put it right on top of that. All right, so there is my face of Laura Geller products. I've just gotta say, if you have dry skin and you haven't tried this powder, this is my number one pick for dry skin. I have obviously tried very, very many. I've obviously tried quite a few powders doing what I do. I've been testing makeup for seven years now. I've tried a lot of powders and a lot of them just either look dry, look, feel heavy. This just, my skin feels like it sounds weird, but like it can breathe. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. It's just an expression, but it just feels um, nice and natural and not it looks so stinking smooth. Can you see this? It just looks so smooth on my dry skin. It's saying something for a powder to be smooth on dry skin. So I am not wearing a foundation except the powder foundation. That for me, and I haven't used a setting spray either. Like that's just crazy for me. So if you have dry skin and you haven't tried out Laura Geller, I highly, highly recommend at least trying out this powder foundation. I do like this. I kind of wish the packaging was a little bit different. I find it to be just a little bit bulky. Um, it kind of reminds me like the physician's formula packaging that has been bulky. I just, I wish that this could have been in a little bit slimmer of a package, container, something. I wish that I could take these out and put them into something else. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can put these in a Z palette. Are they, they're baked so they're domed. I wonder if they're too tall. I mean, that's probably why the packaging is the way it is, but I'm rambling now. I do enjoy this. I'm gonna keep using this when I wanna do my face really fast, all in one. Know that everything goes together and looks good. This is a wonderful option. Um, the other two products though, the lip and um, blush, I don't know how much I'll reach for them. That's not the blush. Um, I think the color is fine. It's a little bit too Barbie pink for me. They are both about the same color. That was just color choice on my my end. This is the colors I picked. Um, but I will probably use this. I just didn't use the brushes because I don't like to use them until they're washed. So, but I will probably end up using this for their powder foundation because it seems like it's a nice, I like the size of it too because you could get easily in the smaller areas too. So um, this one, I'm not really sure, it's a much looser one, so it might be for like a light application of powder. I'm not really sure what I would use this one for. It's an odd size and density for me. I think this was the one that came free, I'm not sure. But retractable kabuki, kabuki brush, kabuki, kabuki brush. Anyways, the star of the show is definitely the Baked and Balanced, ba Baked and ba shoot. The Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation. Uh, if it is still on sale, I will link their website. Well, I'm gonna link their website below anyways, but I got this a few weeks ago, so I doubt it's still on sale, but if it is, 
Um, I will write that in the description below so you can hopefully get it on sale. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. My next one is going to be my Sephora haul. I did end up placing an order in the Sephora sale. I almost didn't, like I almost forgot. I don't really know what happened there. And I was like, I don't actually need anything. But then I ended up buying, you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. So I have an order coming. It should be here in a few days. I will get that video up as soon as I can. That's gonna be it for this one though, guys. If you have any recommendations for future videos, please leave those in the comments below. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see those future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. I'm talking about, where's my makeup? Almost. Almost. <laughs> I see a design flaw.